In the world of software development, Headless isn't a horror movie concept, but a revolutionary way to manage content. A headless CMS is like your regular CMS, but after a fitness transformation. It's lean, mean, and incredibly flexible. Gone are the days when CMS was just about web pages. Headless CMS is like a master puppeteer, pulling the strings of content across every device imaginable. A headless CMS separates the back-end content management from the front-end presentation layer. It focuses solely on storing and organizing content, delivering it through an API to any platform or device. I'm about to show you how you can use a headless CMS to create a Hacker News clone. For the headless CMS, we'll use OneEntry.Cloud, who sponsored this video. They make the backend easy to use and to scale. After we create our account, we'll go to the home page of one entry. We'll see a create new project button and we'll enter the project name, the subdomain name, and select a pricing plan. Then we'll click create. Once it's created, we'll click on the project and then on the access tab. Then we can click the link or paste it directly. Now we can log in using the password from our registration email. Let's now create a sample page with the title of Hacker News. In the Content Management tab, we'll click Create a Page. In the Type of Pages Select option, we'll choose the usual page. Then we'll enter the page title, URL, and the name for the menu item. In the Markdown text box, we'll type Hacker News and make it bold. Now we'll create an application token. We'll go to Settings, then App Tokens. We'll enter the app name, the token expiry date, and click Create. We now have a token that we can use. We'll create a React app and configure the React router for routing. Now we'll create two pages, News and Submit. In the home page, we'll create a function, get data, and call our page API while using our content page name that we created earlier. In the headers, we'll add, add the token as XApp token that we got from the settings page. We'll await the JSON response in a variable called data. From this data, we'll get the page content and display as the H1 text using a state called title. We'll get the text content from the one entry content page. That's how we'll create a sample page. Let's now create the Hacker News menu bar. We'll click the menu in the sidebar, add the menu title and the marker, and click Add. Now we'll go to the content management and create different pages like Submit to submit a link. We'll go back to the menu tab and edit the previously created menu. And add all the pages we created to the menu. To view the menus in the app, we'll go to API in our one entry dashboard and click menus. We'll get the API code for the menus and call the API to get all the menu items. Don't forget to add the XApp token. We now have the menus. When we click the submit in the top bar, we should go to the submit news page. So let's add the route. In the submit page, let's create a form using one entry. We'll go to managing form and create a submit form. We need to add the form fields as attributes. Let's have attributes like URL, text, and the title. Then we'll use this to create our form. We need to get this form data in the submit page. So we'll go to the content management and then the submit page. We'll go to forms and select the previously created form, which was submit. Now let's display this form in our app. Let's call the form API with the submit form form marker. We need to get attribute values.en underscore us, which contains our form fields, and set it to a new state called form fields. We'll create three input fields for title, text, and URL. We'll add a state to store their values using a function handle input and store these values in a state form data. Let's submit the form. We need a button and we'll need to call an API. We'll create a function called submit form and attach this to the submit button. Let's send this data by calling the submit form API. The method will be post. I'll fill in the form and click the submit button. And you can see data sent in the form tab. And to list the data, we can call the get form data API. We'll create a function get form data and call it inside the use effect hook. In the function, we'll simply call the API with the marker submit form and we'll have the data as the response, which will be visible in the console if you do a console.log. We'll create a state form data, store the form data in the state, and map through it to display it in the UI. We'll need to go deep into the nested array and display the values accordingly. And that's how you can display the item that we submitted previously. 
We can also throw some styling to make it look better. That's how you can create a simple Hacker News clone. You can now call yourself a full stack developer. Thanks for watching.